Let's see what we can't do with this mythic hero thing here. Mythic hero. Next. I'm thinking a bit of uh, the heavens. Now this is the one I was, was wondering about. What should I be taking here? So many things I could do. Most of them I can't. I was thinking leading strike here. So the next person that hits whoever I hits gets an extra equal to 1d6 per mythic rank. Thinking that's a pretty good one to hit on right there. Unstoppable. Your inner fortitude is so strong that it lets you overcome most debilitating conditions. Anytime you would become paralyzed, you become staggered instead. If you would have become nauseated, you become sickened. And you become shaken instead of frightened. Yeah. Mythic charge. Your charge attacks deal additional divine damage equal to 1d6 per mythic rank. That's kind of like the other one, except it's just when I hit him, and I'm going to hit him anyway, so. But I have to remember to charge every time. Let's go with leading strike. We'll see how that works out for us. One never knows. All right. What? Okay. I'll go ahead. You will go ahead. That's what it's all about, going ahead. All right, now I need to find, does it show me where these people are? No, no, just my just my party. I have no idea where the other people are. Well, that kind of shirks. Okay. Uh, the party suffers from light encumbrance. Okay. Uh, Irabeth, hey, let me ask you a question, Irabeth. Irabeth, Commander, allow me to say something. Yes, Irabeth. Irabeth looks even more serious than usual. Before you, this wasn't a war. It was agony, drown, uh, drawn out over decades. No one believed in victory anymore. When the demons attacked the city, for some it was a relief. At least the end had come. They lay, laid down their weapons and surrendered without a fight. I felt the same thing, but I somehow got through on stubbornness and the vague hope that if nobody found Anivia's body, she might by some miracle have survived, and that miracle was you. You returned my beloved to me when I'd nearly lost all hope of seeing her alive again. Then you went on a suicide mission to the great garrison and won the city back for us. You turned a defeat into a victory. I know it wasn't easy, but you make everything seem effortless. You do everything just like that. She says with a snap of her fingers. Snap of my fingers. Um, the queen believes in your powers too, but for me there's... Just more proof of what I felt that day when I saw Anivia alive, standing next to you. You're the miracle we've been waiting for. You're the one who will finally put an end to this terrible war. And in spite of everything, deliver us the victory we so desperately need. With you, I'm sure this crusade will achieve what the others could not. So, so now I'm going to have to break to her that I found uh, <clears throat> her scabbard in a uh, place it shouldn't have been. That's a... Uh, hey, I found a scabbard with your family name on it in the Great Garrison. Irabeth looks down. The scabbard held the solemn hour. My family sword. My father once fought with it, and I took it when I left home to become a paladin. Alas, it was not stolen. I parted with my heirloom willingly to help someone dear to me. Anivia needed expensive healing and having no other way to procure the money, I pawned my father's sword. I think he would have understood. 
I'm sure he would have given up everything to help the family. Well, okay, now I don't feel so weirded out that it was there, but okay. All right, Erebeth, you did good. I hope to redeem the solemn hour eventually. But there was never enough money, and soon the sword disappeared from the pawn shop altogether. I have no idea who took it. Seems like I'll have to part with my father's sword forever. Hmm. Yeah. I can see that you truly love her. I mean, the love is obvious. It's pretty obvious. They love each other. She, she she loves her like a fat me loves cake. I ain't gonna lie. I do love cake. <laughs> All right. Erebeth lovingly traces the name imprinted in silver on the scabbard's leather. My parents were loyal servants, yet it wasn't enough to earn them a title or a coat of arms. Still, however, humble our names might be, it is worth something. I don't know if I'll ever see the solemn hour again, but at least I have it scabbard back. Thank you. Um, so it turns out that the queen has her head of counterintelligence watching me. I wonder why. You think, you think the queen doesn't trust you? If that were true, she wouldn't have put you in charge of this army. My main task is to be your advisor until you've gained enough experience as a commander. As for counterintelligence, Anivia and I were tasked with keeping an eye on your inner circle. But you're not under suspicion, Commander. You're under our protection. Well, that gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling. Or maybe it's just fuzzy. It's hard. It's hard to believe your origin is so humble. You deserve a noble title more than many who inherit them. Erebeth's cheek blushed a little. Thank you, Commander. It is an honor to hear that, especially from you. Every noble family begins somewhere. You must have heard the recent story of from the stolen lands in the River Kingdoms. That was like a kingmaker or something, right? Just imagine coming from nowhere and making it all the way to a royal crown in just a few years. Sometimes I wonder what would happen if I managed to distinguish myself somehow, but then I push away such unworthy, selfish thoughts, of course. We don't fight for rewards. The fate of the world is at stake, and yet, Erebeth's brush deepens and she falls silent. Gotta go. Erebeth says goodbye with a short bow. Alright. Well, the errand is complete. Now I've got to go find the other two people I need to talk to. Unbelievable. Well, I want to thank everybody uh, for uh, stopping in and uh, checking out my stream. Uh, I have some interesting things on the point uh, on, on the points uh, there that you can run run if you get enough points uh, some things will pop up screen some of them are just there to scare the crap out of me trust me uh, people have no problem doing that most of them think it's funny that's why I leave them in there it's all supposed to be about fun for some reason, scaring me with jump scares and stuff seems to amuse people. Come on, where is he? That's Ember. I'm back, right back at Erebeth. How the? Okay. Where are these people I'm supposed to talk to? Recruit. Yeah. They don't make it easy for me. Sosial. Is that how you say his name? How do you say his name? What is his name? Uh, we did that one. Uh, storyteller, yep. Um, Sosial. I've got to find Sosial and the Inquisitor. 
All right, now I just got to find people that may or may not be there. I've spotted something. I've spotted something. Look at me. Agate silver embroidered purse. All right. I like me a good purse. Okay. Hey, happy to see you too. Hi, Nino. Recruit, recruit. The path is clear. All right. I feel like I'm just walking around. Watching paint dry right now. Why do they not mark these people here? That seems a little... Well, slap me down and call me stupid. I can't find these people. Go find people that you can't find. Anybody home? Kaido? Hi, Kaido. Neither of you the people I'm looking for. Hey, there's one. Hey, social, how you doing? A young cleric stands before you, an easel, his brush hovering over the canvas without touching it. Instead of painting, the young man absentmindedly gazes at the sky of Kinnabras, which is still streaked with towering plumes of black smoke. Finally, he notices you and smiles, shaking off his stupor. Hello. Hello again. I'm very pleased to meet you. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. It's a Pity I wasn't there at the Great Garrison to witness your feats of strength with my own eyes. The flash, however, could be seen miles and miles away. Some people were frightened of it, thinking that the demons had blown up the remains of the keep. I, for one, knew immediately it was a good sign. The light above the city showed us that there was still hope. So who are you, and how could you possibly be of use to my army? Kind of blunt. Kind of like uh, slap you in the face blunt. My name is Sosiel Vanek. I am a cleric of Shailen, the eternal rose and the goddess of beauty. Yes, I know that many people would consider me useless in a war. Sosiel smiles. Straight to the point is best. Yes, yes it is. I do agree with that. I cannot, I cannot uh, disagree with that. Straight to the point. This is not an unusual war. Though, just consider our enemy. The Abyss and its demons are the very embodiment of everything evil and ugly in the world. Perhaps a disciple of kindness and beauty might come in handy. Uh, plus, you got healing, right? You're a healer? As long as you can heal, I'm fine. I have no doubt that... We will win this war, Commander. We just have to... We just have to. It is our destiny. My role is to help you and all those standing by your side. In this struggle to survive and flourish, everyone deserves the chance to find peace and happiness in the world that they are defending so selflessly. So, hey, yeah, Viper, I tied everything to uh, channel points now. So if you want to do anything, you can just hit channel points. There's some that'll, uh, yeah, straight up just scare me. Yeah, I know. Uh, like the horn wasn't bad enough. Uh, what are you painting? The cleric's eyes linger mournfully on the cabinets. The unfinished painting depicts a... Like I said, yeah. I just had to go prove me right, right? I'm going to have to put big cooldowns on those things. I'm not sure I'd put big enough cooldowns. <laughs> God. <laughs> Well, it, it kind of blows up the stream. 
and it gives me a slight little heart attack but you know it's all good <laughs> Good, then maybe people won't do it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god. I may have to take those out or make them really, really expensive. Uh. The unfinished painting depicts a temple crowned with a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one doing it. <coughs> uh, yeah, the loot's kind of funny. It's, uh, it's, uh, um, oh my gosh. Um, golem. Go golem. 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 Yeah, golem. 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 My precious. Five, five people dressed in robes stand before the temple. Men and women, young and old. <laughs> My precious. Give me the loot. Give me all the loot. Five people dressed in robes stand before the temple. Men and women, young and old. They all get... They all gaze back at you with radiant happiness and joy in their serene eyes. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I thought I thought they were kind of cool. My brothers and sisters in faith, they sent me for help. They sent me for help, and then. The cleric shakes his head in sorrow. They saved my life. Commander. If the prioress hadn't ordered me to escape the city and seek help, I would have died right along with them. And instead, I met Queen Galfrey on my way to Nerysian and hurriedly returned to Kinnebras, only to find my friends dead on the steps of our deserted temple. Or desecrated temple. Learn to talk, my friend. Learn to talk. Social touches the edge of canvas gently as if painting a friend's shoulder in consolation. I want to draw them the way they live on in my memory. Wise. Beautiful. And loyal both to their goddess and their city. To the very end. So... Yeah, I think I would just say I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. I will never forget that I owe them my life. Every minute of it, every breath I take is a gift they gave me. Every breath you take, every move you make. All right. Now it's my duty to make sure my friends and tutors did not die in vain. I will honor their sacrifice by making this world a bit more beautiful and kind. Um, what made an artist enlist in the army? Perhaps I am a true artist or simply, simply an amateur who defaces canvas in my spare time. My goddess is a patron of art, so painting is part of my prayer and I put all my heart into my pieces. But I am a cleric above all else, so I must also tend to others. I went to war because there, because here's where I'm most needed. Sure, I could be painting idyllic landscapes and offering empty prayers to my goddess, but that won't stop people from dying. My goddess has no tolerance for false piety. Uh, you want to discuss something with me, right? Right? Yes, I have a personal crest. Before we undertake our journey and leave Kinnebras behind, I would like to visit the M Martyr Zacharias Cemetery for a funeral. It's not far from here, and it's important. I would like to pay my respects to my friends from the Temple of Shailen, who died defending the city. 
Also, if it's not too much trouble, I would like you to come with me to honor their memory. Their friends and family will be at the funeral, and perhaps the commander's personal presence will bring them comfort. I know that you are burdened by many cares right now, so I understand if you can't find the time, but if you could, I would, sincere, uh, I would, be, uh, I would be able to talk if I could talk. I would be sincerely grateful. Well, that kind of puts a, like, burden on me. Anyways, it was nice meeting you. Now I have to go. Blank has been revealed. Okay, I'm sure they got that. You must be rather busy indeed. Leading a crusade all by yourself is no joke. I still believe that you are up to the task. The war has been raging for a hundred years, but you've given us a chance at victory. Well, they gave us a chance at something. A little something, something. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, goodness. All right. Okay, now I need to find one other person. One other one other guy. One other something, something. Wow. Yup. That's about it. So. All right. <laughs> All right. We still need to find what's his name. What it. Okay, so now we got a farewell while the world burns. Came for an important discussion. Yeah, I need to find the Inquisitor. Find the Inquisitor. Why can't they just point me to the Inquisitor? Inquisitor? This. What do we got? Uh, no. I feel like I shouldn't be taking stuff that's just laying around here. Glowing croissant. Comfort's a guide to cooking a tasty dish. Well, yeah, I'm taking that. What do we have here? Oh. What? Okay. This place has been sanctified. It can protect the area around it from corruption of the abyss. Well, that's good. All right. Well, that's a thing. Well, that's a thing. Well, Kinnabras Crusader. I need Inquisitor. Ah! That's him right there. Found him. Huh, how should he talk? Uh, Commander. A tall man with piercing yellow green eyes gives you a brief nod. Let me personally congratulate you on the new title and thank you for your time in advance. I am Litor Hawkblade, an inquisitor of the Church of Iomade, the bringer of light. I require your assistance in a certain delicate matter involving one of your companions, young Count Darien Erende. Knowledge World Check Pass. Are you one of Prelate Hellrune's followers? Lurta's face freezes for a moment, but nods. Yes, of course. What is your opinion on his atrocities? Litor is silent for a while. Usually people reveal such things about themselves only to the confessor. Not to some curious stranger. Still, I did ask for your help and that imposes certain obligations upon me. Let me put it like this. I spent enough years with Prelate Hellrun's side to learn how to keep him from going over the line. The Prelate is an extraordinary man, but he has fallen prey to his own paranoia and monumental sense of responsibility, which has gradually eroded his razor-sharp mind. He has witnessed so much hideous darkness that he now sees it in every shadow. 
Yet his strength was and still is a shield for all the people of Mendele, Mendev. This is my opinion. His comrades and advisors are necessary to prevent him from making unforgivable mistakes. Hmm. So you let him go so far, and then and then and then you oh then you reel him back in, bring him back in. I see. So there you go. That's interesting. That's interesting. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. That's interesting. Wow. Exactly. Wow. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, so what brings you here? I ask you to assist the Church of Ayamade in investigation of the utmost importance. I understand that the leader of the crusade has plenty of other matters to attend to, but please allow me to tell you the details. Perhaps it will explain why I am calling upon you. The Inquisitor's open face instantly reveals his feeling. He frowns and looks through you, lost in his thoughts for a moment. I, I suppose that you have already heard about Count Erende's story. I, refer, I refer, refer to the tragedy at the Heaven's Age estate. Tell me what happened at Heaven's Age. About ten years ago, several powerful demons managed to penetrate the Waterstone barrier and commit mass murder of all the guests who attended the feast in the celebration of young Darian's birthday. The unknown magical disease they had brought wiped out the whole estate in less than a day. That was not a unique case in itself. The demons had attempted such raids on Mendavian lands before, but they had never dared target such a well-protected place. The Arundel family was exceptionally rich. The state was protected by elite bodyguards. There were several strong and righteous paladins among the guests. Moreover, the revered Nestrin Darian's tutor was one of the most powerful priests of Iomade in the vicinity. All of them died, nonetheless, except for the young Count, who had suddenly manifested his outstanding sacred healing powers. Was that a divine miracle or a curse? That remains to be seen. Um, I'm thinking some sort of curse, but that's just me. You're going to investigate his old case again, aren't you? Yes, I am. I have several reasons to doubt the widely shared account of what exactly happened at the state and how it happened. You see, Commander, I was among those sent to examine the estate after the incident. I saw everything with my own eyes, and I still remember it clearly even though it feels like it happened a lifetime ago. Heaven's Edge was a unique place that still carried the spirit of old Mendev. Mendev before the world wound, and yet on the day it turned into a labyrinthine house of horrors, like something only seen in our nightmares. Apologies for digression. I want to tell you about my suspicions. Everything about the incident seemed odd. Why was the only person left alive a young boy with a newfound talent for divine magic? Why did nobody send to Kenebras for help, even though the agony spanned for hours? We found the demons dead and their heads cut off. We even got into the state. How were they defeated? How did the disease kill even the paladins present at the estate? Who are said to be immune to any disease? If the demons had found a way to penetrate the holy water's defenses, why was this never repeated since the tragedy at Heaven's Edge? You are the only person who can help me here, Commander, because the only living witness to those events is currently serving in your army. Your army's route will take you near the very site of the tragedy. 
Heaven's Edge has been abandoned and sealed with potent magic throughout all these years, and only the Count has the power to break that seal. He's unlikely to invite an Inquisitor inside, and in many, in, and in any case, he would won't make the. And if I can only speak, I can get through this. And in any case, he won't like me sniffing around his family seat. But if you, as his commander, express your wish to visit the estate, he will be obliged to fulfill it, and I will simply follow you as one of your attendants. Heaven's Edge. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Scroll up. There are a hundred ways, a thousand paths, a myriad loopholes in, in human lives that the forces of evil can use to their advantage. I am not sure which one of those led to the demons to the gates of Heaven's Edge, but I do know it wasn't a simple raid. The kind faced by crusaders every day. That incident involved significantly more powerful entity, and that is why I am asking for your help. We cannot be sure that such a tragedy will not happen again until we uncover the truth. Holy crap. Holy crap. Um, you've already been to the estate several times. What do you expect to find now? Boom, boom, boom. I was a young and inexperienced inquisitor when I first tried, first visited Heaven's Edge ten years ago. My skills have improved significantly since then, and I have paid dearly for that. Leo takes the Leo. Leothar makes a, a vague gesture pointing at his scars. My arsenal includes many spells and techniques dedicated to gathering information about people and events. Almost all of them require me to be physically present in the place where the event in question happened. That is why I must return to Heaven's Edge. Seems like he's more wanting to prove Darien is... I don't know, somehow an evil guy rather than actually figure it out what happened. But that's just my thought process right now. I could be wrong. Lord knows I've been wrong a lot in my life. Thank you, everybody, for uh, stopping by. Hope everybody's doing well. Had a good week. I am uh, definitely glad of having uh, it being Friday. It was a long week for me at work and uh, nothing like uh, sitting back, kicking back, relaxing with a nice uh, RPG to take your mind off of uh, all your worries and troubles for the week. So thanks for coming by. If uh, there's a whole bunch of like uh, points that you can redeem for different things, some of them will scare the crap out of me. So be careful with those. Uh, don't need to give an old man a heart attack right now. But they're there for your pleasure to have fun. If uh, Is anyone else playing the beta that's in chat right now? Um, and if so, what have, uh, what have you guys been playing? I'm uh, currently playing uh, a, uh, uh, a deliverer. So kind of a, the angel assassin character. Uh, probably going to... Uh, I don't know if I'm going angel or... The other one, what is it, a Zada path? I haven't really looked into the mythic paths yet, so. Let me know what you guys are doing if you're playing the game or if you guys have just been watching a lot of other people do their thing. I've seen a lot of people go with the uh, Lich path. Heard a lot of people going with the Lich path. I try not to jump too f much further ahead than where I am in the game, but. Uh, that looks like an interesting thing. I usually do a good character on my first playthrough. Uh, why can't you just search the estate yourself without involving me? The est wow. Played a barbarian, vivisectionist, sorcerer. Wow, you play, you've already... Oh, so you've gone through this three times already? All the way through? My 
gosh. Yeah, I only uh, only have a few hours a, a, a night uh, during the week, um, and then maybe several hours on the weekends. But man, just one time all the way through. Oh, just one time all the way through. You just started several different characters. Uh, oh, that's always cool. I like doing that too. Getting a feel of different characters. Oh, it's hard. I you know I haven't. I didn't even know. They they told me when I uh, started doing the the when I got the beta and stuff, and I uh, signed up for the um, Discord channel to put my streams in there, not to do hard mode. But I hadn't. I I, I heard they fixed that. So. Yeah, because I, I found a lot on, on the regular mode. Some of the stuff has been way too easy, a lot easier. Like the whole Great Garrison thing was way too easy on normal mode. I just blew right through the dang thing. It was crazy. Um, every time I came up to a fight, I thought it was going to kill me. Oh, okay. Yeah, because normal is just way too easy. Um, several of those fights in uh, the Great Garrison should have been much harder than they were. It was just like run up to people and they just explode. Then again, maybe I have some really good builds going. Nah. <laughs> oh. Uh, the estate is abandoned and sealed with a powder containment enchantment that only the Count himself can lift. This is not the main reason, however. The main reason is that the Count Erende is not officially under investigation by the Inqu Inquisition, so I couldn't just break into his house, even if I found a way to bypass the spells. This is a serious matter, he frowns. A matter that threatens the reputation of the entire Church of Iomade, and my own organization in particular. We made more than enough unforgivable mistakes during the Third Crusade and are still dealing with their consequences. Your presence will give my investigation the necessary legitimacy, Commander. But there is more in addition to getting official permission. I'd also like to bring in independent third-party investigator to this case. Someone independent but well-respected. And you fit this role perfectly. Uh, oh yeah, so I'm just going to be the uh, the rat, I guess. You want me to be the rat? <sighs> I rarely snitch on my friends. Did you question Darian himself? I did, but the Count insisted he couldn't remember anything about the incident due to the severe shock. I saw the demons at the very beginning when they appeared in the celebration to announce the onset of the plague and mock their victims. He also witnessed the death of his mother, Countless, Countess Selenia. That was all he would tell me. He had found the, we found the young Count sleeping like a log on the floor in one of the near chambers, having drunk about half the family wine cellar all by himself. There is no reason to b disbelieve him on that matter. Uh, so you suspect Darren is hiding something? That he is to blame for the tragedy? Uh, that's what I get. That's the feeling I get. I deliberately refuse to entertain any theories or suspicions so that it doesn't affect the investigation. There is saying among my colleagues that suspicion is the mother of prejudice and prejudice is married to failure. I can only tell you that Count Derende wasn't suffering from demonic possession, the most common malaise in our country at the time. Prelate Hellrun himself examined the boy right after the tragedy, and he didn't sense anything awry with him. Fine, I will help you. What do you need me to do? Uh, bows his head. Thank you, Commander. Now I ask you to speak to the Count and tell him that you wish to see Heaven's Edge. Please do not inform him of my presence right away. I will join your escort when it is time to travel to the estate. 
When we get there, I will also require your help during the investigation. You will have to follow me, observing my actions as an independent witness. Uh, no, tell me more about yourself. No, I have to go. Okay. <clears throat> 